Day Get Her One with the coach, Ray Giacoletti. I'm BJ Shaven. A great matchup for you tonight to end the regular season. And, coach, what makes this matchup so special? Well, BJ, we have two of the hottest teams in 4A basketball. Johnson's won seven of their last eight games, and Hoover's won 14 of their last 15. But coach, they've got a player that's really pretty dynamic in Camden Vanderswag. He is a sweet shooting lefty, the average 11 points and five rebounds. He leads them in scoring and leads them in rebounding, and he shoots 42% from the three-point line. Talking none other than about Douglas Wilson. Doug leads the state in rebounding in 4A. He's averaging 18 points and 14 rebounds. He's a double-double machine out here. And the, for the people that haven't seen him play, they're in for a real treat tonight. What does Johnston need to do here? Well, Johnson's going to want to get out and push tempo and try to speed the game up a little bit. But the biggest key will be, will they be able to rebound with Hoover here tonight? Coach Johnston showing some zone. Well, we got a little 1-2-2 two, two there. You know, I, I've seen him twice this year, and I haven't seen him play a possession of zone yet. So that's something a little bit different for this game tonight. Looks like they might be man here. Might be a situation where they go zone on makes and man on misses here. We'll see, but it's man this possession. It down. I tell you, he's a guy that's very selective shooting a three. He's shooting 47% on the, on the season, but he's, like I said, very selective, one or two a night. Coach, what are they doing so special on him to frustrate him here early on? Well, they've switched defenses here a little bit, and, you know, so you got to try to figure out if they're in the 1 2 2, if they're in man, and then obviously they're shading towards him and trying to make somebody else beat him, but um, Johnson's defense has done a good job so far. Gets his own board, he pads his own stats. Wow. And that's what he does best. I mean, shots taken, he does a great job aggressively going to attack the glass and, and the putback for two. Peyton Williams, an interesting story. Southmore that's already committed to play baseball for Iowa. Uh, a guy that has really improved and leads the team in shot blocks so far this season. They're going to call it on the floor. It's a good look by Quinn. I mean, he's a 41% three-point shooter, and it's a great look by him. Those are the ones he needs to be able to take and knock down. Getting it that far underneath. He's really good around the back. He, he's got a quick jump to him, almost like a pogo stick down there, and, and he finishes plays. Jackson draws contact. It's simple, but the thing that Johnson's done here, especially in this first quarter, is make the extra pass. Uh, they've been able to draw the defense and, and help a teammate out. Great pass, great look. Again, when you get those wide open looks like that, step up and bury him, you got great confidence. But thanks in large part, Coach, to the three-point shot. Yeah, and the majority of them came off of assists to where you got clean, strip, wide open looks. And that's a great credit uh, to Johnson, their team, making the extra pass. You know, this team is very well balanced, got five players averaging eight points or more, uh, but the way they share the basketball is what's impressive to me. Get him a catch, a step off the block, uses that left hand and finishes with the left hand. Does a great job getting to the free throw line, averages seven free throws a night. Three minutes to play in the half. Back to flex, where you get a baseline cut and a down screen and got Grant Kramer posted up and got something going to the basket the uh, first half for Johnston. Coach, what a game here so far. It's a really good game, and, and I think Hoover showed great poise in digging themselves a hole and finding a way to, to only be down four at halftime here. Well, as we the Dragons have really cooled off there. Yeah, no, I mean, six for 11, you'll take that each and every night, uh, especially for a half. But the thing that it, it will interest me more than anything here as we start the second half will be uh, Hoover's ability to get the ball to Doug Wilson. They seem to be able to do it when they were in man a little bit more difficult when Johnson was back in zone. That's where he had to go rebound the basketball when, they, when Johnson was in that zone. Five turns. Nice lob. Whoa. The half. Knew that they were going to be in the zone, so they set up a, a lob play. Great job by Coach Henderson there. Can you look for that as a trying to recruit a player, how quick they can get off the ground, right? Yeah, those are things you can't teach a guy. He's got God-given ability that's, uh, you know, you just, there's nothing you can do to teach or in the weight room or anything like that. I mean, uh, pretty special guy. A little high-low look, good duck in by Doug, wasn't able to get it to him. Okay, here's a three from the side. That's good by Grant Kramer. And another assisted three right there. Penetration leads to a kick out, and Grant gets a clean look at it.
draw the foul and go to the line to shoot two. You better be in a stance defensively when he catches it down there. He's got spin right, spin left, get back to the middle of the floor with the jump hook. But Again, when a guy can get to the line seven times a night, um, that's how score, that's a scoring mentality. They always talk about great scorers get a third of their points from the free throw line. Let's see if we can get him another touch down there. A little baseline runner action going against the 2-2-1. Three guys along that baseline and see if we can get Doug a touch. Campbell in the paint. Wilson. If they're not gonna pass it to him, he'll go fetch it. <laughs> Well, Proctor's their best penetrator at the end of the clock here at the end of the quarter. Coach Sanquist likes to go to him either with a ball screen or get everybody flat and give him a chance. He's left-handed, got to his left hand and got all the way to the basket and got rewarded with a foul. 3.8 seconds left there. So basically, in your mind, if you can get the ball headed towards your basket, you have three dribbles. One second per dribble and be able to get a shot off. You did a great job managing the clock right there. One, two, three, even snuck a fourth one in. Really good court awareness. See if we can't get, you know, Vanderzog, uh, he's back in. See if we can't get him a clean look. He really hasn't had a, a good look tonight. And I think he's gonna need to knock down a couple here before, uh, there we go. And look at that, Camden Vanderslog. Well, it took him a little while, but now he checks into the scoring column for the first time. That tray, big shot. You'd have thought we were in the huddle with Coach Sanquist right there. With the lead on Hoover with 4-11 to play. We'll see if Hoover extends their pressure here a little bit and tries to create a turnover. It looks like they're going to get, get out 2-2-1 two, two, with Doug on the ball. They'll probably trap that first pass here and try to run through the lanes. We'll see if uh, they can get a turnover here after the timeout. Well, more than likely, Coach, go with some full-court pressure here, do you think? I, I would think so. You know, they're probably going to need the same thing. They have the 1-2-2 the where two, two, they're going to double the first pass and try to run through some lanes here. Good look at Courtney Henderson right here. Courtney played uh, his college basketball at Southern University in Baton Rouge. Done a great job here at Hoover. Pull off the big win. I tell you, showed a lot of poise, knocked down a bunch of threes. But I think the thing that most impressed me tonight here was their ability to make the extra pass. They certainly did that, especially in transition and on the drive, which was when they were able to do it off the bounce, that was really the difference here. It was. Uh, be able, And it's contagious to be able to get five people on the same page uh, to be able to make others better. That's uh, a sign of a, a quality basketball team. Doug Wilson with another big night tonight for Hoover. He finishes with over 25. Yeah, he's a special guy. I mean, with a big motor, quick jump, uh, he finishes a, a lot of different ways and, and uh, I thought, uh, you know, he did his best to, to give Hoover an opportunity to be successful here tonight. Nothing.